uh, important to be doing in terms of management is to be able to prioritize what issues can you bring forward? Can you say to the judge, we who are on the grand jury are willing to work 10 hours a week, which still is an enormous amount of time. I've sat on school boards for, and uh, I've been on this board for 10 years, and uh, the difference is only one of the magnitude of the work and the willingness of people to put in time and effort to do the job. So when we're, we bring this to you, it's a question of if you're putting in uh, 20 hours a week, the sense is we have all these problems coming at us, and we have to take care of all these problems. And since you're putting in 20 hours a week, you work 20 hours a week at home or whatever. My feeling is here is there needs to be a recognition, not by this grand jury or by you or anybody else. The judge has to recognize that by talking about a commitment of 20 hours a week to be on the grand jury, he is grossly reducing the inclusive, inclusivity, if I can use that term, of the membership of the grand jury. Because there are good people who would be willing, as they do on school boards, as they do in water districts, as they do in community service districts, that can put in 10 hours a week and do a good job. Those people should have access to participation in the grand jury. And I, I don't know the history. I never heard until about three or four years ago that the job was required, and now officially requires, 20 hours a week participation. So from a management point of view, it seems to me that we're not about to tell you what projects are important, which ones are not. But when you have to spend 20 hours a week to be a member of the grand jury, it seems to me here that it says, I'll never, I won't go there to a lot, so many people. I don't have 20 hours to, in a month to devote to public service. Some, many people have to say, even as much as they'd like to. But I'd like to see the grand jury lighten its load by being selective. Now, that's my philosophic thing that's off the topic. But I think it's, a, it's something that does not rep, is not represented in this document here. But I would also go in the direction of making just a couple of editorial uh, corrections here with regard to the, uh, the travel of 30 miles from the county seat would exclude many people in Anderson Valley and down the Anderson Valley. I'd like to see that change to 25 uh, as an item in this particular uh, as a editorial or uh, element. Supervisor Colfax, before we get to, into that, you can create maybe a motion. I'd like to go to the public and ask if there's Okay, let me just, let me just let me finish, okay. up, finish up one more thing. And I would also like to make sure that there is some consistency. Grand juries conducting official business in the county seat should be made part of the document we will be considering later. Official business in the county seat should be made part of the reimbursement policies affecting the uh, supervisors as well. Uh, we have it right now uh, more narrowly constrained for the supervisors. So I'd like to see a consistency between those two. But I think it's a fundamental error underlying the notion of the supervisors or the assumption that supervisors are trying to lim limit the work of the grand jury through fiscal uh, uh, tightness by uh, going after the budget. And that, that is certainly not the intent, certainly, of this board. Uh, with that, is there any members of the public want to speak on this issue? OK, with that, uh, oh, Tom, go ahead. Thank you, I'm Tom Mitchell, Chief Executive Officer. Um, part Looks like we, we are going to have a public comment. Okay. Hi, uh, my name is Carol Rosenberg. I live in Ukiah, and this is my third term on the grand jury. Um, I'm really privileged to be on the grand jury. I find the work fascinating. I find the ability to look at how the government <coughs> spends my money very interesting. I find listening to you gentlemen and ladies speak about 
um, the concerns of the county very interesting. And with my membership on the grand jury, I am really pleased to be able to contribute by listening carefully to special districts, to department um, staff, to some of you who serve on, on, on special districts and, and have heard testimony that not having enough time has made it possible for sometimes for even you folks not to do a really good job of looking at all the issues. We have one year to look at a number of issues. And it takes mileage to check on rural school districts. It takes mileage to check on making sure that this county is served in all its corners. Having numbers of people from the coast, we have looked at comparisons between services in different areas. This is something which I believe is an incredibly valuable service. And I would serve on the grand jury no matter what, but because I am a retired person on limited funds, I need the mileage. And I need to be able to, to have some money to justify my computer, my paper, the kinds of things. And it's not 20 hours. It's closer to 30 or 35 hours. Um, I'm sure you have written reports and you know when you worry about are you saying it as clearly as possible. It takes a long time to do that. And many of us, we're trained in the skills that we need and we have to do a heck of a lot of research and practice. So I would like you to really understand that this is public service which gives us a great deal of pleasure. It gives us a great deal of involvement but it's something that really serves all the public. Thank you. Thank you. Tom? Yeah. Oh, one of the, okay. I have my badge in my pocket because I'm Wendy Robertson. While I am serving on this panel, these comments are coming as a volunteer in this job. It is the single best job I've ever had. If it paid and it were legal, I would do this. It's research, it's really getting to know the county, it's getting to move around the whole county, not getting bogged down in insular little micro issues like who is sleeping in which house in our little town. That frankly isn't very interesting compared to traveling around a county as, as you do too and understanding the big issues. People who serve on the grand jury, we will go back to our communities with a totally different perspective, which I think is a long-term value. I don't think you're questioning the value of the grand jury or the commitment that we have, but I, I do want you to understand that you're making a long-term investment in developing people who have learned how to work collaboratively with other members of the county. Um, just understanding that over the hill is not the dark side of the moon going to Round Valley, going to, you know, the northern and southern reaches of this county. It's very, very valuable stuff. And I do want you to know that when um, those of us who are staying over, I stayed over last night, I took a brief break, and then I went back and worked on my computer <coughs> until almost midnight last night. We do really take advantage. I have gotten so much more done since we started staying overnight because we can get uh, blocks of time. As, as those of you who travel to the coast know, you're tired by the time you get home. You don't do a lot more. So that, that has made a huge difference. Last year I paid for a lot of rooms because I wanted to get my work done and I didn't want to wear out my body. But as Mr. Colfax has said, you know, I was in a position where I didn't have other volunteer obligations. I just finished a big project, so I was available. That's very rare to get people who can just do, put in that kind of time. I think a very good point has been made, um, certainly for the future, to encourage foremen without putting limits, I understand that's not acceptable, but to encourage foremen to really think strategically about how many projects and which projects are taken on.